Hello and welcome to Pizza RV TV. Today I'm Chad Shepard, Pizza RV, your local internet dealer here. Today we're going to be looking at the Passport product. I got a buddy of mine, Randy Murray. He's our lightweight specialist at the dealership. We're going to have him tell us a little bit about this Passport. But real quickly, the Passport is Keystone's signature series for the ultralight division. When we're talking the Passport Ultralight, you can see behind me we got the Grand Touring Ultralight and they also make an Express Ultralight which is an expandable line which we'll touch on in a little bit. But we're going to have Randy come in and tell us why the Passport and how they make it so light. Um, a lot of brands out there, what they do is they shorten the walls, shorten the ceilings on their ultralights and that's how they save the weight. You're going to see here on the Passport brand how they use better quality building components to keep the weight down on this. So we'll start on the inside, we'll grab Randy and we'll do a quick walkthrough and show you why the Passport should be a trailer for you. Hey guys, I want to take a minute. We talked about Randy Murray earlier. Randy Murray, welcome. I appreciate you coming into our video today. I know you've okay. been really selling a lot of passports lately. Um, people have seen gas prices going up, um, towability. People are buying some you know, vehicles with economy considered towing capabilities. So tell us, uh, I know you do a lot of the internet stuff here, a lot of the local stuff. Tell us what you've been seeing here in the local market lately for the ultralights. I've seen people uh, actually looking for the lighter weight campers again the expandables are coming back the lightweight stuff's coming back uh, i don't know if it's due to cost gas or just uh, people are getting a little bit more sensible one of the things is the passport has really come up to the plate and uh, they've made some great changes and uh, they've got a great camper at a great price at a great weight so those three things are definitely not strikes against them they're just they make the passport a great unit yeah uh, right now we're in the in passport this trailer here if we measure this trailer bumper to bumper about 27 feet um, 4,500 pounds. 4,500 pounds. So that's, you know, six cylinder pickup trucks. That's some Larger small... Larger minivans, smaller SUVs. Absolutely. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, even with a slide, this trailer is equipped with a slide. Yep. Okay. How do they save the weight on a Passport product? Let's start with that. Um, again, as we've talked about in some of the other videos you and I have made, um, they're using uh, the aluminum substructure in the exterior walls. Um, we're also using a, a laminated floor system, so an aluminum substructure there with the two-inch styrofoam hard block insulation between that. Very lightweight to build, lightweight ways to build things. Um, again, we've taken uh, some galvanized steel and rolled it and made uh, a truss system for this guys, rather than using the conventional wood that we see in some of the other lines out there. I notice when we look at some of the other brands out there, Brand X, Brand Y, um, Keystone still is using an arched roof on the exterior for water runoff, um, for snow load. I've seen some other brands out there. We take them in trade, and the next thing you know, it's leaking around the air conditioner because it's got a flat roof the on it. The air conditioner is a heavy thing to set in the middle of a roof, especially on a lightweight, you know, when we're using some lighter gauge materials. By having that round roof, we're not having that, that almost dip that those air conditioners create on the flat roof units. We're still allowing water to shut off so we don't have water penetrating the seals or sitting against the seals to rot them over time. Definitely. I see, we've taken that J Feather stuff all the time and it's got those flat roofs on them for their, their, their J Feather expandables and some of their lightweights. And Changed a lot of gaskets on those <laughs> just to, to save those leaks that we'll have down the road. Absolutely. Okay. Tell us about the cabinetry in here. I mean, I, they're lightweight all the way around. I know they use uh, a cabinetry build on the uppers here. It's got some raised oak paneling in the uppers. Uh, it does. Um, they, they haven't skimped. You know, we haven't lost integrity. We haven't lost quality. Um, we don't have a you know a piece of paneling up there on a on a, a laminated door frame. Um, we've actually we're using real wood. We're using lighter wood. We're using again you know the lighter kind of stuff rather than the real hard stuff that you may see in the in the Montanas and things like that. Anything we can do um, in this guy to lighten up the load without um, losing integrity, losing quality, they they do in the passport. Okay, I noticed too. We are we'll check it on the outside. Even some of the framing on some of the inside of the compartments, we'll see some aluminum construction there at the same time. And aluminum is just a, a very lightweight way to do things, um, all welded together. So we we again we don't lose integrity. We have great strength by it, but again, nice lightweight. Okay, tell us a little bit more. Uh, when you say laminated floor. We hear, we hear a lot, what is a laminated floor? Just take a minute and tell us what is a laminated floor because I realize it's a huge weight savings in an ultralight trailer. It is. In the old days, we used to use a, a plywood deck tongue and groove, much like you would when you're building a house. Um, the floor in these guys is something that came out a few years back. They started building the floor much like they build the exterior walls on these guys. So aluminum construction, that two inch uh, block styrofoam in between the aluminum studs and then we actually use uh, um, some Luon on the top and the bottom which gives us a great strong, with this all together, gives us a great strong structure, um, a great floor, great R value, but at a really light weight. I mean it's probably about um, half the weight of the plywood that we see on some of the other units that are out there. I know we just, we just put a big order. Ordering a Keystone out there, uh, you know, I think we ordered 
I've checked with Todd, maybe four or five hundred units the other day. Uh, we went out to the factory to work our deal on them, and, and that's one thing that's made, as you know, Pete's RV so successful, buying these trailers in big packages to get... We went to the Passport plant. I actually saw how they make the wall. It's under high intense heat, um, special glue, and UV light, and uh, they actually compress it down. Uh, in a very clean environment, no dust, so that, that glue really... Um, the, the surfaces glue well, very well together, and it just makes it an impenetrable wall. It's just a very strong structure. Yeah, I know not everybody's doing that. A lot of people are still using plywood floors when we look at some of the other brands. And, and we went back. We're talking, you know, do they do they cheese out? Or cheese? Do they take out the good quality stuff in a trailer? Do they shorten the sidewalls? Do they shorten the ceiling? Um, it seems like the Passport's been keeping the quality components in there. I mean, this trailer's with TV, with surround sound, with an electric awning. It's uh, got all the stuff that you're going to see <clears throat> on, you know all the other hard-sided trailers out there and then the way Pete's RV orders them we'll we'll order the, the better options on these trailers just so we have the best trailer on the market at the best price um, so uh, and the other really great thing I like about the Passport in the lightweight series they have more floor plans than most other product lines or two product lines just to accommodate everybody's needs in a lightweight trailer Okay. Passport here, we got the etched glass over the bed. A lot of brands is just going to have the shelf. we got the extra it, glass. It looks a little better. Uh, it it's gives just a more high-end feel. feels more like home. And you know we're not skimping when we're looking at the Passport. Yeah. They go ahead and do things like that. Double, separate themselves from the other units. Double cabinet doors. They do a little nice thing. I mean, 99% of the brands is not going to have the top shelf up there, no, I can tell you. No, but it gives us another place to set some things that we won't want to lose down below. Um, you know, next to the bed, some things that you may just take out of your pocket, place to put them without losing them. Yeah. Obviously, the storage under the bed here, if we peek this up, uh, we got storage on your side, compartment water on my tank side. Water tank is right there. Um, so our water tanks and our plumbing are above the floor. And again, we've got that enclosed underbelly on this particular unit. So um, again, we're not skimping on the passport. Late, we can get some extra winter camping. Not winter camping, but well, extended fall, season. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sleeping capability wise, passport, you get sleeping here on the sofas, we get sleeping on the dinettes. Uh, dinettes are going to be a little bit longer than normal too, so an adult can actually sleep on those rather than like in my camper where it's very condensed and uh, you and I would have uh, trouble sleeping on my dinette. Okay, great. Um, maybe what we'll do is, uh, I just want to catch a few things here in the back, I'm going to take a quick peek at and then we'll jump out to the outside. Maybe you can give us an idea on what that aluminum studding is all about. I know we can get a real good shot when we were looking at that compartment up front a little bit earlier. That would be great. Alrighty. Before we meet Randy outside, I just want to take a second and show you some other features about the Passport product that we that you might not have been seen from the other video. Metal faucet, deep sinks in this, wood sink covers. Um, just another great feature they have. You get that extended countertop surface in this floor plan here. Believe it or not, they still make some brands out there. We talk about skimping down on features and quality. Some brands out there are still using a single door refrigerator. All the Passport brands uses a two door Dometic refrigerator, refrigerator with a freezer on top. Uh, there's some brands out there that are using a single door with the old pull-down freezer in them. So just keep an eye out what you're paying for. Flat screen TV, it depends on the model, but I would bear to guess 99%, 99.9% of all the Passport products we order is going to have some sort of flat screen TV with surround sound through the ceiling on it. Um, one other thing I do want to point out in this floor plan right here, real bathroom door um, as opposed to an accordion style door. Um, we talk about weight and how some companies save weight. Some companies go to all accordion style doors. They use the cheap uppers on all the cabinets. So still getting real wood doors, full height ceilings, full width. And we're going to go outside and we're going to show you where some of that aluminum construction comes into play.